Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Bharat and today we are going to be checking out the Digisol DG WR3001NE Wi-Fi repeaters let's check it out If you are new to Tech Matrix this is Bharat and we unbox review and do plenty of giveaways on anything tech so subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for all the new videos and giveaways The Digisol DGWR3001NE repeater costs 1970 INR for India and they are made in India and not available across the world. They are available in one color of matte white and uh, the packaging is solid and it comes in a cardboard box which has a few features and specs on it and inside you get the Digisol repeater and ethernet cable, a software CD and also a quick install guide is present as well. The Digisol repeater is made of matte plastic surface across and has a dual non detachable antennas. You need to tilt them by rotating them forward and also they come with this three LEDs here. In the center you have a power LED and uh, top and bottom are wireless and wired indication and above that you get the WPS button as well. At the bottom you get a 100 Mbps LAN port and a USB port with the 5 volts and 0.5 amps output. and uh, it's present for charging any of your devices that you may need this won't work to access pen drives or hard drives though on the sides you have a reset button it's a 91 mm in height 59 mm in width side to side and 40 mm front to back and weighs just 98 grams it has a single band and only you can use 2.4 gigahertz and supports 802.11 bg and n using this is very simple first uh, connect to the power supply and uh, it will start with a green led and change to blue to become stable without blinking now on your routers click uh, the wps button if you have one and uh, then next uh, click and hold the wps button for a few seconds on the digisol repeater and uh, wait for some time you will see blinking leds once connected and working the signal led will become stable and be blue there are three bars for connection strength one bar is low two bar is medium and three is full strength If it is only one try shift the repeater to a closer distance to the router if the first one didn't work for you or if you don't have a wps button then just put it on power and on your phones or laptops connect to the digisol ssid no need of password and uh, type and go to this page 192.168.2.1 here it will prompt for username and password enter admin in the username and 1234 as your password then select which wifi you want to extend and enter the password for the ssid and that's pretty much it you can also just clone your router and it won't have an additional ssid rather extend it without having to switch manually you also get other settings here for wired and wireless from basic to advanced if you want to fine tune anything you can do that right from here now you can also use it in ap mode here you will need to connect the repeater through the ethernet cable and input the ssid name and password and wait for a while these work well with most entry level and mid range routers and gives you strong wall penetration and extends the range and are good for home or small offices now the only downside is it's a single band 2.4 gigahertz repeater which means you will have lower speeds compared to a 5 gigahertz dual band repeater like the tenda that i had reviewed earlier the links on the top right for that review so check that out So guys what do you think about the Digisol repeaters tell me in the comment sections below and hit that like button and subscribe for more such geeky videos this is Bharat peace out